Exclusive Club, one of seven men and the first at 154. Can you describe the emotion to have all four belts? Hey, this is unbelievable. I did it for us, USA! I did it for us! Shout out to Carson, California, LA, the whole surrounding areas. Preach y'all for coming out. Hey, lives only, we put on the show. I gave y'all 10 hard for 12 rounds, or 10, 10, 10 to 12. <laughs> but uh, I gave them all, and uh, that was the end result to it. This was quite a battle, and you guys have brought out the best in each other. Can you explain what it was like during this fight to be going through this? Yeah, it was hard. Uh, I could, I could consider this to be a little bit like nerve-wracking. You know, I felt like this was my first fight, you know, when you get nervous and, you know, you get the hands in your pants. And uh, I, I just wanted to be in there. I knew Costano was going to give it his all. And I knew I had trained very, very hard. You know, I could see I came in at 152 because I was really in shape. And I wanted to make sure this was my fight. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just uh, super excited for everything that uh, me and my brother put on for Lions Only. Um, the future is bright. It sure is. How did you contain and control your emotions with the late arrival and the long delay? Well, you know, I'm just getting there in the fight. You know, I don't care about um, being late. I don't care about who early. You know, I knew once I got to this, uh, this arena and I'm fighting outside in this beautiful place, I have to get it on. You've been great in rematches. What adjustment and changes did you have to make to be successful? Well, I listened to my corner this time, I can say. You know, um, you know, I, I, I got in my bag around the seventh round. I started sitting down a little bit more. Instead of like boxing so much and moving around, I, I see that uh, he was wearing down a little bit and I was breaking him down. So uh, the ideas came aware and I, and, I, and I stepped up. It was basically an even fight until that seven round and then you took control at seven, eight, and nine. And then ending it in 10, which we'll look at in just a moment. But what changed the complexion of this? Uh, I just start seeing my punches be more effective. Uh, I get stronger by the later rounds if they didn't know. Uh, and that's what happened. All right, let's take a look at this knockdown here in the 10th round with this vicious left. Tell us from your vantage point, Jamel, what's happening. He was up close and I tried to block it. I didn't. I threw a body shot and I threw a left hook. And that was all she did. Oh, yeah. Did you know it right then? Well, once I seen him crumble right in front of me, uh, I'm pretty sure he was going to get back up because, you know, that was the first knockdown, but I knew it was over. And now we jump to the end of the fight right here. You can sense it. Yeah, the jab landed too well. The right hand came perfect, and I threw that with For sure, I remember. <laughs> you know, it takes... Oh, body shot. Yeah. This quite certainly is how, going forward, you will be defined, these two fights, with Castaño. It takes a great opponent to bring out the greatness in someone else. How will you view this going forward? Uh, this legacy, man. This is something that is legendary. I'm a legend. Thank God this is a beautiful thing, and, uh, you know, they gonna keep putting them in there. When you're at the top like this, you get a bunch of mandatory, you get a bunch of number one guys, so you just gotta prepare and be ready for it at all times. I've never seen you this calm, and this is your, your highest peak. Can you explain why? I mean, life is beautiful for me. It's amazing, I work really hard, and I, and I, and I you know, see the fruits of my labor. I so in between. I got my, yeah, I got my young kids. Shout out to Al Heyman for all the opportunities he gave me. You know, shout out to, you know, my mom and my dad for raising such a, a decent young man. And, uh, you know, big ups to the WBC for being the first belt that I got. And, uh, I'm, hey, I, I, I ain't done, dog. I might move up to 60 and see if I can do it again. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Congratulations. Terrific fight. It was an honor to cover this. Thank you. And it was, if it wasn't for God, you know, I put God first in my life. So, and then that was one of the biggest things that I've uh, accomplished this time. Thank you, Remus. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm first, but I love him. Yeah. 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 Ye